Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. In this episode, we're going to just take a quick look at how to share files and folders under Creative Cloud. Now, Creative Cloud has had this ability for a little bit now, a little while. Um, however, some of the menu options and some of the techniques have changed slightly and, matter of fact, improved. So let's take a look at the new way to do it as of today in 2015. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to go up to our Creative Cloud uh, menu here, whether it's if you're on a Mac, it's probably in your menu bar. If you're on Windows, it's in your taskbar. And here I have the option of, of course, seeing my home feed of activity. But if I click on assets, then I can go ahead and just jump right to my Creative Cloud folder from there and it'll open it on the desktop. Now, if you've never used it, chances are this folder is empty. And of course, you can drag and drop anything in here just like you would any other folder on your computer and it will sync those items to Creative Cloud. Now, those items, I want to stress this, very important, they remain on your computer. So even if you have no internet connection, you stop paying for Creative Cloud, whatever it is, those files that you put in this folder will remain in this folder. They'll just stop syncing. Um, now, so you can work offline, you can put things in this folder, they're yours, they stay in this folder on your computer until you take them out of this folder. Now, um, by default, most paid, 20, most paid Creative Cloud accounts have 20 gigs of storage, so you can put whatever you want in here to have, that, uh, have those files accessible to share and collaborate. So, how do we do it? Let's say, for example, that I go into my Photoshop folder. And in my Photoshop folder, these are things that came over from Photoshop Mix um, that I can um, uh, work on or continue working on here in Photoshop. Now, I can uh, just do a quick preview of what some of these things are. They're just some compositions I've done in Photoshop Mix. Now, let's say this, this one, that this particular one I want to share. Well, now I can right click on it and I can go to the Creative Cloud flyout menu and I can say share a link directly from here. Or I can say view it on the website. Now, if I view it on the website, of course, it will take, it, take me to my assets folder and take me to that particular file and render it. I can even see the layers for that particular file here. And I can even do what's called an extraction now. I can try extract for PSD for web workflows. So to extract things like the CSS for, for me to use in a web workflow. All this is pretty cool. And again, some of these things are brand new. However, if I just want to simply share this file, I can say send a link. And then I get the ability to, to say no longer make this private. I want to create a public link for this. Whoever has this link will be able to uh, see this file. And under advanced options, this is where I get to turn on or turn off what they can do with the file. So for example, if I just want them to be able to see this file on the web, but not do anything else to it, then I'm gonna turn off the allow file download and allow file extract. And then they'll just see it on the web and they'll be able to make comments and those kinds of things, but they won't be able to download the high res quality. Um, now that's sharing the file. So at this point I can type in an address and have Creative Cloud send the link on my behalf, or I can just copy the link right here paste it in my own email program, paste it in my own messaging program, and send the link that way. So that's the way we, we collaborate with files or share or send a link for files for people to be able to look at. And of course, um, even if they don't have Photoshop, don't know what Photoshop is, they're able to see this PSD uh, rendered here on the web without having to know anything about it, about Photoshop. So they're able to see it and of course, um, interact with it. Now, the next thing we want to do is, here, let me just check one more thing here. Yep. The next thing we want to do is we want to go in and take a look at folders. So I'm going to go right back to my Creative Cloud, open the folder again. And now let's say I want to collaborate with someone on this entire folder. I want people to put, put files in it, work on the files that are there. I want this folder's contents to show up on their Creative Cloud, on their desktop, in their folder. Now, that means I'm working with someone. I have a team going on that I want to work on um, these assets or that I want them to put things in the folder as well. So in that case, if I right-click on the entire folder, I can go to Creative Cloud and I can say Collaborate. And what that will do is take me to that special spot for that folder, show me the contents of the folder in the background, and then from here, I can put invite as many people as I want to be able to work on that folder. So as many Creative Cloud members as I want. So if I type in an address, 
uh, we'll call this person Sam at samsdomain.com and I can click invite and Sam at samsdomain.com if that really exists just got an email invite for to accept if they want and then they will be able to see this folder and work on the contents of this folder put new things in the folder edit what's there take things out of the folder just as if they own the folder itself and at any given time I can uninvite people I can say no longer let this person collaborate on this folder and therefore now Sam doesn't have access to anything in that folder anymore so that's up to you um, how you collaborate but you now have the ability to collaborate with files folders and of course shared libraries uh, fairly new in Creative Cloud as well which I've already done videos on that so take care and get to sharing your files and work and your designs and have other people collaborate and work with you on your Creative Cloud files and folders uh, that's it for this episode take care hope you learned something and we'll catch you on the next one